Space Coconut. Okay, so now that I got yesterday's little rant out of my system, let's have a little chat about the patch, my ban from Discord, and what you can do to improve the state of Dead by Daylight. In case you didn't know, yesterday's video got me banned from the Discord. The mods won't discuss the ban on Discord, but here's the gist of it. The mod in question banned me for calling out for raid behavior, which he says is against the Discord terms of service. In the video, I think I told videos to share the video and make yourselves heard so the devs fix things. Apparently, that's raid behavior. Now here's the question, does the Discord TOS cover content made on YouTube? Because here's the thing, as a person who would trigger many players in the official Discord just by saying hi, I have avoided commenting and posting in the official Discord at all. I don't think you can verify this on Discord now that I've been banned, so I mean, you can decide for yourselves if you think I'd be stupid enough to post in their Discord. So if I never post anything in the Discord, that means that mods there banned me for making yesterday's video calling out their bad patch and telling people not to put up with it. If you're curious why I was banned, now you know. They don't want you to hear what I have to say and help you be informed about what your rights are as consumers. If you see anyone in the official Discord asking why I was banned, send them a message with a link to this video. The mods in the Discord and the devs don't want me to be able to share my thoughts with you and they'll find any tiny reason to make sure they kick me from their platforms as well as you for sharing my content there. But that's clearly very effective. The Q&A happens today, so I'll be watching that, and if it's worth the trouble, I'll make a video about the important things they talk about, if they talk about more than design decisions and lore. Cyberpunk 2077 releases on December 10th, and I managed to get the day off, so I'll be having an all-day stream for that one, playing as evil of a character as I can. Mwahaha. So come by Twitch if you want to see something other than Dead by Daylight, since I'm sure all of us can use a little break from it by now. Also, I'm not depressed about the state of the game. I have a massive toothache, and it's quite painful to talk, so I'm taking it easy for a while. I may even be having dental surgery as you watch this, missing the Q&A, so who knows. I've made videos from the hospital twice before. While I was here. No, you can talk if you want. You want to say hi? Hi. So what happened to you? I broke my arm. It didn't sound like it felt very good. <laughs> so I made a friend <laughs> and uh, I told him that I would put him in a video. So I'll, I'll put you in the video, okay? okay. All right. <laughs> so a little toothache isn't going to stop me from making a video. And if I'm high on anesthesia, it might be a little interesting, especially during a chapter release such as this one. So, with all of that unnecessary stuff out of the way, let's talk a little bit about Chapter 18. Let's start with the killer. The devs have tried something very different. Unfortunately, the idea for this killer is much better suited for the Legion, and I'm disappointed that they were unable to either think of this for the Legion, or they simply took the community suggestions given after Legion was released and slapped it on the twins. Either way, the new playstyle is going to take some getting used to for many killer players. In the same way that people said Hag was bad back in the day, all it's going to take is a few people to figure out their playstyle of using the twins in order to really bring out their potential, or highlight exactly what needs to be changed to make them better. Like other killers before, give it a few months before you decide whether they're strong or they're weak. Survivors don't know how to counter them, killers don't know how to use them, and the killer isn't really technically finished yet. Anything can happen. Maybe the devs will actually fix everything by the time the next killer is released three months from now, in March. If they continue the DLC schedule they've had for the past few years, yeah, three months to fix everything. Unfortunately for everyone, if my information is correct, five of the six perks aren't actually working as intended. Because of their current state, I can't really make a perk study on them but I can tell you that I played with oppression and surveillance, that combo, but it didn't do much since survivors mostly stayed on their gens and finished them, so surveillance didn't really help that much. It might work better on killers that have much better map pressure than the hag does. Order needs Franklin's to be okay, and coup de grace, for you people, doesn't seem to be too useful at all with all of its limitations and the nerf that they gave it. All of this to say that the chapter should never have been released and only behavior knows why they did. 
We can all assume that it's simply the gross greed for money, but we really don't know for sure. But here, let me share this idea with you. They want to ban me for calling for a raid. Let's not make them liars, shall we? In the absolute nicest, sickeningly sweet way you can, list all of the things that bother you about the game. Everything, no matter how small or silly it might be. List everything that you don't like about the game and explain why. Then, copy and paste that polite and constructive criticism all over Discord, Twitter, and their official forums. Make sure they hear you and make sure it's as constructive as possible so they have no excuse to remove it or you from wherever you post it. And watch what the mods do with your list. If they hide it, if they ignore it, if they do nothing by the time the next DLC comes out, then you'll know that they don't care about you, your feedback, or your gameplay experience. Some of you are looking to me as some kind of leader of a movement and I think it's a little silly, but here's your chance to prove me wrong also. If you see a post that someone has made because of this video, use their post as a template and make your own list. I know people are lazy and they might not do anything, but people staying quiet and accepting the state of the game is exactly why the game is in the shape it is in right now. Do whatever you want, but now, you can't tell me that I did everything I could to try and improve things for everyone. Like the video if you like the video, and dislike the video if you hate the thought of a bug-free Dead by Daylight. This thing is a lot shorter than I thought, and I think it's kind of all over the place, but my tooth is literally killing me right now, and I can't really think straight, so forgive me for this video that's going all over the place and is probably just another rant like yesterday. Oh well. Until next time, I'll see you on Discord.